Jaheim hidden still. Don't act like that Jaheim doesn't get the <laughs> job done. This song is going to be played at a wedding. Shout out to my home girl, Lauren. Lauren, you listen. I'm going to play this song at your wedding, April 20th. I'm there. I'm playing this song. If you don't want me to play it, you know, during the reception, it will get played during the um, intermission. You know, when the when the um, people start walking in right before the Cocktail wedding. Hour? No, they're processional. You know, you got to warm the crowd up. I'm the warm up. So the crowd is sitting no, down. Usually, they're waiting for the bride and the groom. Are you talking about at the reception? No, India. Before the people. when The, the people ceremony? Start, yeah. Usually the bride will have like a list of songs that she wants you to play while that's happening. Not necessarily. Not yeah. always. Usually. You got to come up with a whole playlist. It's a long time. I'm getting the wedding starts. I think it. I should know this. The wedding starts, I think, at three o'clock. And usually the DJ is not warming the people up. I'm not like telling jokes. No, I'm the not. ceremony, you're usually it's like either like instrumentals or like very soft. Don't, that's not a good song to play before the ceremony. What? You can have anything. That's not a good song to play before the Let ceremony. Let me know no. if this is a good song to, play, not a song, good song to play before the wedding the ceremony when you it are sitting down waiting for the bride to enter. Are you crazy? I have never heard that song played during that time at a wedding. Ever. No, you don't go to ever. the... If, if, I'm going to tell you straight up then. Your DJs are doing it wrong. Straight up. I play uh, Let's Get Married. I play Incomplete. Hold on. Matter of fact, Talk to the people real fast. I'm gonna tell you, I play SWV. I don't know. We I didn't play even it have, at all. We didn't even we have did it wrong. a DJ. We did it wrong. I before know. our we didn't do it wrong. We didn't have wanted it to be done. We had a live <laughs> band. We had a live band. So the live <laughs> band play, you know, the instrumental versions of these songs. But if you have a DJ, I'm not like blasting the music. The music is on as people are walking in. So I'm playing these songs. Getting the crowd warmed up for love. If you come to a wedding, you playing you... Two Most Wanted. Who? Two Most Wanted. What the fuck is what is that? <laughs> the, what is that? <laughs> the Beyonce and Molly Cyrus song. Oh, I didn't know. I wanted to say this song was called Shotgun Rider. <laughs> I thought this song was called Shotgun Rider the whole time. No. See, I don't know. The, yeah, I am playing the answer. <laughs> You see, you laugh. You sound serious. My face, guy. So I, I thought like shotgun uh, rider. I was reading the comments on something, and uh, somebody was like, "Oh, I'm so glad I haven't got married yet." <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Why not play these songs during during the time the people are walking in? I, I'm going. I'm, I'm finding it. Keep talking real fast. You Hold finding on. what? This. What something? are you looking for? Keep talking. Okay, hear it. I found it. Be quiet. <laughs> Don't tell me to be quiet. I'm sorry. Nothing even matters. So beautiful. These are the times. Spend my life. Cupid, love with you. I can go on and on and on. I have a crate of songs. If you know what I'm talking about, Serato. I have a crate of songs that I keep ready to go for the wedding. You know, when it's a little bit of time in between. It's time for love making, is baby. Is that the same? But huh. that, is, that, with the, is that the same playlist you use? Love of my life. Me and at you. At the beginning of the reception? No, no, no. The beginning of the reception, like. You still playing. know while people are like eating dinner? Oh, yeah. Dinner time for sure. A little soft music. Yeah, these are the same songs. Right. Okay. Right, right, right. right. I got you. But now, at, at cocktail hour, I'm, we almost, we are in between love. And I'm almost going back to the streets because we're turning up. It's somewhere in between there. I'm right there. Oh, my there. gosh. I'm You're right taking there. it back to the streets at <laughs> nah, the cocktail just, hour? These are jokes. You know I'm not doing that. But I am somewhere in between. I'm more playing during the cocktail hour. Um, we were from SWV week to SSWWV. Now we're here. He may be up. We, we're there now. You know what I'm saying? So we went from week. To the human nature. Flip. I guess I went. Now. Obviously, it's been a long time since I've had a wedding. Yeah, your friends it's been ain't a very long married. time since my friends old. not get married, and um, you ain't never had a top flight security DJ like myself either. And we had a band for a cocktail hour. We had a band for so, cocktail hour. I don't know. But if you hire me, what you're gonna get is a good damn time anyway. So I'm just saying, tell them. Don't tell the person that told you this, but tell them what the person told you about me during doing a wedding because you never seen me do one before. But tell them what they said. 
They, I don't remember exactly. You know what, what he told you? They said he said he said. I it, need to take my lit. show on the road. I need to quit and just lit. go be a wedding DJ. You do not need to quit. <laughs> Ain't gonna be a wedding DJ. <laughs> it's the dream. It's the dream I have of my life. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. This is She and Our Podcast. If you didn't know the song in the beginning of the episode, that was Jaheem featuring Next. You no, know, Ariel, the group that he met. Anyway, J- uh, um, Jaheem featuring Next anything. I love that song. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, That's um, my vibe. In that general. is that, 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 that whole this, <laughs> all the songs I named were probably right up your alley. She yeah. sent me uh earlier this week a flyer with Jasmine Sullivan, Maxwell, and October London. October London. I the only October I know is Drake. OVO. Like, I thought you liked him. I don't know October London, though. Give That's not the guy that sound like Marvin Gaye. Oh, I, I do like cuz. I don't know your name. See, when your songs are bigger than you are, you got to fix that. Um, but yeah, all right. Okay, damn. We might have to stay. But I did. <laughs> so she sent me the flyer. And I said, shit, yeah, we can go. I'm leaving after Jasmine Sullivan. Because it's Maxwell is he- headlining it. I don't really know Maxwell. We still, we've, we've seen a lot of artists in concert. But we still have not seen Jasmine Sullivan in concert. So that's why I, I sent him. Oh, yeah. Because you went to the one music festival. Yeah. But I was invited. I was pregnant. I just didn't want to go to the festival. Yeah, exactly. You didn't want to go, so don't act like that. I was in that thing. Um, I have not seen Jasmine Sullivan. I Talk just, about it. But Talk I've about seen it. Maxwell. I haven't seen Maxwell. I don't care to see him. Don't necessarily want to see Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't say that. I thought yeah, you that was like a, it was like a very random okay. night. Remember, I bought a ticket like the very last minute, and it was like Kayla Bridley. It was like, it was so random. Okay. It was very random. I do remember I wasn't, that. It wasn't shit. like my plan to go see Maxwell. It was just like. Mm, pretty wings. Last thing. Yeah, no. Nah. Minute. But it was boring. Since not the concert for us. It was boring. Us. Jasmine Sullivan gonna we, come blow you down. We've been to some older artists that oh, put yeah. on like a hell of a show. Like oh, we yeah. went to see. Uh, Earth, Wind and Fire. That's your go-to. Brian McKnight. Oh, yeah, Brian McKnight was good. Yeah, we he saw Brian good. McKnight. He Boy, them good. old women were in there lusting with their husband. <laughs> they talking about going to heaven. And went to Brian McKnight on Saturday, so a lusting. I mean, lusted on Saturday and then went to church on Sunday. <laughs> and you get mad at people. You were lusting over Brian McKnight because he had them tight pants on. He had some real tight Boy, pants on. Boy, them old we ladies were sitting, was in like, there. right in the front. <laughs> and I'm, I'm being for free. Them old ladies was like, oh. Yeah. Nasty perks. Yeah. We've seen Brian McKnight. We've seen yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire. We've seen uh, Jodeci. Like, we've seen a lot of older Sweat. at Keep Sweat. Yeah. Yes. We've seen all of them. Maxwell was not my favorite. <laughs> Maybe he was having an off night. I don't know. I, this, I don't know. All I know is we're leaving after Jasmine Sullivan. Because I would figure well, October I would like to say London. For October, October London. Are you saying he's probably going to go first? There, there you, you go. There you go. I, I got I, you. What are you saying? October London is going to open the show. Jasmine Sullivan will probably go first because she was in the background. Maxwell was in the foreground of the flyer. So I would assume he would go first. Needless to say, if and when we go, we are definitely leaving after Jasmine Sullivan. I also want to talk about this. Mm, it's going to lead into a topic. That no, I'm gonna I actually stay don't really like Pretty Wings. You don't? No. That's a good song. That's like one of the things like you be scared to tell folks that you don't like this song. Uh, it's one of I don't like this. No, nah, I think I think you can not like pretty wings as long as you like a woman's work. You don't like that either? See what I'm saying? Now you might have a problem on your hand. <laughs> it's not my go-to to listen. At, like under I'm very real. I never sitting in the car thinking I'm gonna play for Mac. Well, yeah, it's not like yet. ever. <laughs> I don't know what type of person you have to be to ride in your car. And watch. An older say person that. would see this and look at us and be like, they young, they don't know what they talking about. Not necessarily, just taste. We just, I feel like it's just simple taste in music. Yeah, I, I listen mean, to a lot of older artists. I listen, but, listen, I'll ride in the car right now to some Luther. I'll ride in the car right now to some Run Isley. I'm just not putting on Maxwell. Yeah, if no. I had to pick somebody from that genre, I'm going to put on D'Angelo. That's how I'm giving it up. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think yeah. it's bad to say. Yeah. Not, not like, yeah, he's just not my cup of tea. I would agree. Yeah, we're, well, we're, we're, we're like here. It. We're here yeah, with finally, that one. Finally, finally. We got that. It <laughs> took us a while, huh? And we both like Shotgun Rider, too. I just didn't know the name of the song. It's fire. It's called Two Most Wanted. That song, fire. 
<laughs> okay, Lauren. Beyonce dropped an album. I'm playing it. Lauren, I'm playing it at your wedding. I'm there. Um, Lots of think pieces. I'm also playing. Um, My server on Mandilo. Friday almost lost her tip. Oh, you told me. Because people are crazy. I'm not like a super, I guess you could say, oh, I don't really stand over any particular artist. Yeah, you like don't. I, I, none of them. You don't. I like what I like. Um, I've listened to Cowboy Carter <laughs> two times through. What? Who am I super fan? Of? There you, I'm glad we stopped <laughs> the press. Sierra. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This is stop. I probably the press. girl out over Sierra, not yeah. because of um the, her new music though, but I just who I love me some Sierra. Anyways, See? Cowboy Carter was uh, dropped on Friday, and I've listened to it twice now through. Uh, now through that makes it. Anyways, I so there's like a section of the album. Here we go. Here we go with sections yeah, again. Yeah, there's a section of the album that I've kept on repeat. Okay. There are a lot more ballads on there than I thought was gonna be on there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, I have to be in a certain kind of mood to just listen to a ballad. You gotta well, not necessarily depending on what it is. Yeah. Um, but. Overall, I think it's such a well thought out project and I'm listening to the songs and she hasn't dropped visuals, but w- the way she's singing the songs and the way they sound, it's like I can almost see two guns coming the, out. the visuals, oh. bang, bang. like just based on the, the lyrics <laughs> to the songs. Like, <laughs> you about to see her in the middle of Arizona in the desert somewhere riding a horse. Like when I'm listening to Levi's jeans, like I don't know if they slow dance in the country club, but I'm seeing Two people. Hey, hold on. Dance. It's a Levi's jeans, and they just swaying their hips from side to side with their cowboy hats. You remember that one time <laughs> we were in college, and we were in Murfreesboro, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, um, and we were on the square, and we had walked into this country club. They were line dancing, bro. They was in there giving it up. <laughs> they were line dancing, and it was me, India, Warren, maybe Phil. We were we had walked in. And we look so out of place. I'm talking about the entire bar. What was the name of it? I can't remember because every every bar down there has changed. So I don't know what's still what's still the down there. Entire place were up line dancing. Nobody was sitting down in a seat. That's how crazy it was. And I can imagine that's how these black girls are about to be for their Beyonce. When the vibes get to going. Nobody will be sitting down when they come up with their line dance for uh, uh, Shotgun Rider. It's going to go They're not going to come up with a, a line dance to Two Most One. It's not calling it Shotgun Rider. Bang. That's what it's called, man. Change the name. <laughs> Change the name of the song, man. Saying this has turned into a music podcast very fast. Uh, uh, change the name of the song. Have you listened to it all the way through yet? Come on, man. Yeah, of course. Of course. I got, I am a Beyonce. I'm like right on the borderline of Stan. I'm a, j- just by proxy. If y'all talk about Jay-Z, we got a whole problem. If you talk about anybody in Jay-Z's family, we got a whole problem. So this is how I'm giving so it. So the debate that I was having with the server at dinner on Friday was that she was like, it's not country. She needs to stick in her own lane. Uh, she doesn't have a country voice. And I mean, Beyonce just speaking regularly when she's not interviewing, or, well, she never interviews, like when she's not doing something important. Like if she just talking, shooting shit, she has a very country voice. Like she, she's shit. Her, her accent is country. However, I think that everybody would have thought it to be weird has she just completely changed her voice for the album i appreciate the fact that it still sounds like beyonce yeah like yeah. i don't i, I would not have want because i don't like country music me either so i would not have wanted to hear her switch her voice not to have a bit. whole country twang yeah i thought and i and i think had she done that she would have gotten criticism for that too people are just never satisfied so it's like sure. you either either listen to it and appreciate the hard work she's put into it or don't listen to it Skip it. It's not for you. It's not for you. It's not for you. You want my old hoe? Go buy my old shit. That's what he said a long time ago. Energy people exert into talking about things that they don't like. Yeah. You you don't have to. If you don't like it, you don't have to talk about it. You don't have to look at it. 
If you are it's tired of people you. posting about it, stay off social media for a po- couple of days if you just don't want to see it. But talk about things that bring you joy, that make you happy. Like this podcast and then share it with your <laughs> friends. Might as well. I'll make you happy. You make me happy. We make each other happy at this point. Um, um you gotta push you haven't pushed the button. Oh shit. I I've, I've never heard them do this before. Which one do you want me to hit this one? No. Let's you hit the didn't... button. During the week, we got D. <laughs> Y'all know who we are. Let's talk on the podcast. I don't gotta introduce the podcast. What's up, dog? So the reason why I told him to hit the button is because he is like, I'm surprised that he didn't lead the podcast with this. So last week I was feeling very overwhelmed, and then I got up I on Friday and I text Spirit and I said, My cup is empty. Actually, it has been depleted. I was like, I am going. To go and do some things tonight. <laughs> he said, okay, stay out all night. I got the kids. <laughs> Let's and... stop for a second. <laughs> I'm going to post this message. Instead of us being gracious and saying, okay, cool, thanks. She wrote me back and said, what? What did I say? It, it wasn't... Are you being funny? Are you being sarcastic? See, that's the thing oh, about I did men, say that. men and women. I did say that. If you tell my wife comes to me and tell me my cup <laughs> is running over, I'm depleted, I'm tired, <laughs> I then bet shit. Do what you need to do. I'll let you later on. I got it from here. I'm not going to ask you where you're going. I'm not going to ask you what you're doing. The only thing that you know, if you need to, if you feel the need to check in when you get to your spot to let me know that you made it, then cool. I know that we are all individual people. I'm not trying to put a tracking device on you. I ain't trying to do none of that. As long as you come back home happy, then we good. So. (laughs) Talk about it, though. Talk about it. (laughs) I was going to leave the podcast with it, but I didn't want to make you upset. After, so I had already looked up um, my tap dancing class that we talked about because I did not like a couple episodes ago. Um, I feel like I had been challenged. Spiteful. And him saying that I was not going to do something. I was like, oh, what? Well, I'm absolutely going to do it now. So after I text him, really, I had already had a lot of babysitting lined up. So he said he had plans or whatever. I was going to go out regardless because I need so to go. So she giving it up. Cook. Okay. So I had a babysitter lined up, him lined up, whoever. Somebody's going to watch the kids other than me. So I go online. I book a tap dancing class. This Turns ain't Texas. The oh. studio is only five minutes from the house. How convenient. Turn off. She so did then it. I was like, oh, well, I guess I need tap shoes. So I go, I find a dance studio out or like a dance store. It just sells like dance shoes, leotards and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, out in Franklin, I drive out to Franklin and I go buy me some tap shoes. She did her thing. Because I called them and they was like, well, you should really come in and get fitted because tap shoes doesn't run like street shoes. So when you know, you want to get your foot fitted. And I was like, okay. So I went. I spent $45 on the tap shoes. I said, well, I'm committed now. (laughs) Once you spend spend that money, money, you are all in. I spent $15 on the class and then I spent $45 on the shoes. So it had become a $60 investment. You 60 bucks in. I am committed. Yeah, yeah. So I go to the class and I have to sit in the parking lot and compose myself because I was like nervous. I'm nervous. I have not done anything like that. I felt like uh how old was I in middle school? I felt like 12, 12 year old India walking into cheerleader auditions. <laughs> That's how I felt. So I walk in and it's a beginner's adult class. So, you know, obviously I figured I wouldn't be the only beginner adult in there. And it was a nice little size group of people. Look at your girl. Um, it wasn't enough people for me to be in the back of the room. No, we got her. <laughs> but we got her. It, it it was a it was a nice size group. There were two males in there. Um, oh, older. Well, she actually looked like she was about my age. 
And she was there with her like four year old son. And then it was like some younger little whippersnappers in there that was, you know, very mm. limber. <laughs> Look, my girl thought they she looked like they was probably like 20, <laughs> 19, 20. India went in there and thought she was about to be unveiled. Bitch. She thought she was about to get it in. <laughs> she thought she was about to hit him with it. I go, I take this hour long class and the normal instructor for the class actually was out. So we had a sub and the sub just so happened to be a black girl and everything that we danced to was uh, Earth, Wind and Fire. So that was fun because I was like, okay, this is the vibe. And you've been to that concert before. I've been to that concert before. I love Earth, Wind and Fire. Now I did not realize how difficult tap would be. My ankles went ankling. There was at one point my brain was not connected to my feet, and my feet was stuck. I was like, "Whoa!" Girl got stiff ankles. <laughs> but because the class is so convenient to where I am, and I've already bought the tap shoes, I am going to keep going. Um, I want to learn it fluently. Like, oh I want my god, to know See, how we to do from- it. It was not just a one-off thing. I'm going to keep going. So. That's that on that. I had me a really good time on Friday. I told him, I was like, I want to go to this tap dance class and then I want to go to Sephora. You did that's say what that. I did. I went to Sephora. I bought me a new lipstick, a new blush, and a new fragrance. So I treat myself. Then I said, stay out. You know what I mean? It just so happened. One of my homegirls hit me and was like, girl, you want to go to, let's go to sushi soon. And I said, girl, what you doing right now? <laughs> what you mean soon? How soon you want to go? <laughs> So I met her at Sunda. I actually had not been to Sunda since like 2019. How was the food? The food was bomb. There you go. Oh my gosh. It was so good. They had like these little... Um, I don't eat sushi. I eat coochie. No. This was like Wagyu beef. It was like a little piece of wag- I Wagyu I do eat Wagyu. Whoa. On top no of, did um, On top of a little piece of sticky rice. And then you dipped it in the soy sauce, baby. <laughs> Things was fine. Ah! I can't believe you ate beef. Well, you don't even eat red meat like that. So Shauna beat me there. And when I got there, she had already ordered two glasses of champagne. That's my dog. Um, and that appetizer. And she was like, we're toasting to your inner child. Cheers to your first tap class. Literally one of my favorite people in the world is Shauna. <laughs> I don't like, I don't know too many people I like more than I like Shauna. I be around a lot of y'all people and I don't like you more than I like Shauna. <laughs> it is what it is. So I had me a hell of a time on Friday. Congrats. Can, can, give it up for you. I, I need to put my claps back on here. But give it up for Andy again. <laughs> this is I I it is I'm really happy hard. you did it. It is really hard to do something like new like that as an adult. Because you're not And just, you went by yourself. And too. I went by myself. I was this close to texting a friend and be like, hey, you want to come to this class with me? And I said, no, idiot, go by yourself. You can do this by yourself. You got this. Just go. And I did. I think she was tired of me going places. I'm just gonna call a spade a spade. I haven't been outside, but I've been low-key going out, but by myself. I literally don't I, tell the truth. Well, you're not going out by yourself. You've been going out with friends. Who I go out with Thursday. I mean, because I Manny oh, you did go there. That ain't why. What you mean? That is not why I went out because she you a, went out. She, yeah, she, she a hater. She you ain't wanting credit for shit that, <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with you. I forced her hand. She had to go out because I was going out. You nah, would like to believe out. that that is the reason why. You, it ain't. I kind of am the reason. I put the battery in your back to challenge you. You just said you felt challenged. Don't renege. So Don't I renege. I felt challenged by the class. In the beginning of the story, you said after I challenged you on the podcast, oh, yes, you yes, felt the yes, need, and I did. said spiteful. You, you felt the need. I know. Hey, call it spiteful. Call it no, no, I'm glad like you did it, it As long as you liked it, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that. I know you liked it. You came home talking about it. So then, well, matter of fact, she didn't even wait till she got home. She called me <laughs> as soon as the class was over to give me the rundown. And I had a bunch of questions. I'm not going to tell you all the questions <laughs> that I asked. But you can imagine me and you can probably imagine some of the questions that I asked. So speaking of that, I actually used to work with a guy when I worked at PDI. I used to work I worked questions. with a guy. And I remember one day the co-workers was like, let's go 
out for happy hour after work. Yeah. And he said, no, I can't. This is my mom. This is my wife's night to go out. And we were like, huh? And he was like, me and my wife each have a night that we go out each week. He was like, my night is, let's just say his night was Tuesday. Her night was Thursday. Tuesday's a nasty Um, night to go out, though. I'm just saying. I can't believe she got Tuesday. But what I I know is that neither of their nights were on the weekend. Like, they were still spending their weekends (laughs) together. But he and his wife both had a night to go out. With their friends, by themselves, to just do things outside of each other. And I just thought that was cool. But then, obviously, I just forgot that that was a thing. But he and his (laughs) wife already had kids. So, I now that we have kids, I understand why. Just because you get so bogged down with the kids and the family stuff. And just, you know, you just get into, like, a routine. And I think that's what I was feeling. I was like, I need some excitement in my life. Like, nothing's exciting for me right now. Like, not saying that I'm not grateful for my life. Like, I love my life. And, you know, I'm with you. I'm 100%. We are aligned again. We have been so, like, routine. And there's just been no excitement. So, I was like, I'm going to take tap dance class. (laughs) <laughs> we what I did. <laughs> have aligned again. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. Um, as part of the reason why I said it the other day on the pod, like the creative. What did I say? Oh, you're a creative block. Yeah, I had a creative. Still, it's still. I'm, I'm getting over it. But that's why it reminds. No, it's, it's not like that. But when you work from home, you you don't see people. You don't interact. It's like damn. I need to interact, and I, I I do. She would probably love it. You would just right up your alley. Um, but I cannot. Sometimes I got to get out of here. That's why I was cool going to the spot by myself the other day. I was cool going yeah, places so by myself. Last week we both went somewhere new by ourselves. He went to like a guy's social. I don't know. He went somewhere by <laughs> himself. Um, and made Straight. friends. <laughs> it's cool. I I I, I meet people. I don't make friends. I, I meet people. <laughs> Met people, right? <laughs> I went because I'm an introvert. I did not make friends, but I did have a good time in the class. Met people. <laughs> so, needless to say, do we need to incorporate having the day? Yeah, I don't and think it's a bad idea. So, my question but is just, next. just so that you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm about to run it up. So that you know. Run this shit up the, the class. class is on Fridays. <laughs> See, I already, I already get the shaft. You know what the I'm saying? The class is a, there's a lot to do on Thursday. Oh no, we got Bible study. Oh, the Bible study about to be over. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say we, it ends in like six weeks. Whoa, it's twelve chapters in the book. That was nine. It's twelve chapters in the book. Damn, we got a long way to go. <laughs> We're um, we are participating in a small group, um, Bible study with our. Church members, neighbors, friends, these people have grown to become very close to us Mm -hmm. over the past six months. Mm -hmm. And so they come over to the house once a week and we study the Bible. (laughs) Talk about somebody else. Don't talk about me. I know y'all want to hate on me. I know y'all about to hate on me. Don't worry about it. Uh, But let me ask you this then. All right, let's say, right, you give me a Wednesday or Tuesday or even a Tuesday or Wednesday. But I got some big I want to do Saturday. Can I swap it out? Or right, even on the you Friday can, you, after you get out of class, can, I need to know the can, rules. Can, I need to know the rules for this. You can I, swap it out, but you can't make it a thing. I just want to swap like it out occasionally. Thing. Like, hey, let's swap my Monday for Saturday. Maybe Monday would be a good day for you since you like since it's, uh, sports. Go, what, what's a good day for sports? Because Ben, hey, I want to base my life. Lately, Lately, he he likes to go in, you know, it's meet off. a friend at the bar and, you know, watch sports. Well, not really. At off. the bar. It's, it's, it's not all. March Madness was on the best time of the year. But this is about to, this is about to go off in two weeks. Uh, but the NBA finals are coming up. Right when you get rid of one, God gives you another one. Ooh. So I am. To June, actually. So I do got time. To June. So we'll see. But I want to know the rules of this. We'll just we'll we'll lay out the rules we'll after, come back and tell y'all after we it. discuss. Because mm, I'm about to but do. I did think that that was a good idea, and I, it didn't occur to me until like, I didn't think about it until this past week. Because that's kind of what we did. Another idea too that you guys can incorporate if you don't, we don't do this, but I think we should do this. Find another family with kids about the same amount, same age, around your same age um, as your kids, and then y'all can do a. Uh, 
a babysitter swap off. Like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. every two yes, weeks, Lord. if you want to go somewhere with your woman, you know, you can go somewhere every week with if you got a babysitter lined up like we do. But if you want to go somewhere with her and, you know, you might not want to spend the money on a babysitter that week, hit up the friend. Hey, I got y'all this week. Get me next week. And y'all just swap it out. Bring the kids back and forth for swap out. Thing about it is you got to have somebody like minded. Got to have somebody you can trust because you don't want to end up being like the Nickelodeon documentary. We'll talk about that later. But you got to have people you can trust in order to do that. Um, I'm not letting my kids spend the night nowhere. So I don't give a damn if it's 4 a.m. and I'm out coming to get them. Um, However, (laughs) however, I do think it's a good idea to find that other family which you trust. And you can you, you can know your kids in good hand. Well, my mama's in town, and God for God willing, she coming in town in the next maybe two three weeks. Call me. My number is six zero one four two one. Call me. I'm back outside again, and I'm turning up. With my, and I'm gonna be out all night with the care of when you're with the kids at home by yourself. I'm Excuse not worried me? about nothing when you and the kid. When I when I'm out. And I know you with the kids. I don't think about nothing else but me being outside. <laughs> now, sometimes when me and you go out and the babysitter be there, you know, in the back of your mind, you got that little thing, you know, in the back, in the far, far back in your mind. Yeah. But if just me and her and she's at home and I'm out or vice versa, I hope you feel the same way about me. You can leave and go do whatever. Oh, you, you got the oh, little thing no. in the back of your head? No. <laughs> okay. okay. See, no, I don't, I don't I know, get the same Barry, Barry does really well with both the kids. I mean, he don't sure. he has he doesn't do things the way that I do them, and, and that's you don't something do that I have I to them. like release control over. There you go, let it go. Um, because I knew that the kids had stayed up way past their bedtime when I went out on Friday because they were both exhausted on Saturday. We turn up, and um, um, but but they were fine. And Saturday morning, I went to teach my class, and Bear took both the kids with him when he got his hair cut, and or he took Blake to get his hair cut and took me out to eat for breakfast. And we turn up. So, we well, turn up. I mean, I don't got to worry about it. I have a very I, responsible husband when it comes to the kids. Yeah, I mean, that's that, it. that's not a problem that exists in our relationship. That's it. That's all I <laughs> when it comes to the kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm. I was about to say something. So, it's not forget. saying anything negative. So you were. Not. What I was about to say. <laughs> Let me remember. You keep laughing. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Shit. I forgot again. I know. What I was about to say is, speaking of all that with the kids, um, when we go out or let me back up, men and women are different when it comes to the way they parent with the kids and how Blake is with us, how Shiloh is with us. Uh, and I think it's just par for the course. I'm going to do things different than mom. Mom is going to be probably across the board universal. The mom right now is going to be a little bit more strict at this age. When they get a little bit older, then probably to flip on his head. Right they now, shouldn't. It shouldn't. I am the fun dad. You should not be the fun dad. I'm but the that's cool going to backfire when he gets older. Um, it's backfire so. now. Punch me in his face. But needless to say, I do think this is how people. Around, like universal household rules. Even if you are together, separated, whatever the case is, parents, husbands and wives and dads and moms are going to parent differently with the kids. It's, I, it don't, is what I don't, but I don't think that should be the case. You're saying that because that's our current reality. It is. You're not doing anything to change it. I'm not. But it should because the parents shouldn't be on different pages when it comes to parenting the kids i think we are united front when it comes to what we want for the kids i think the way we get there is a little bit different she gets upset and we talked about this a long time ago about the capri sun and about the um what was it the capri sun and water that's one of the things we argue about she doesn't want blake to have any type of like juice or capri sun like any one won't kill him also now it's a thing where wrestling um has entered our household and i'm gonna tell you what they be cussing if you are saying stuff that he don't need to hear but my son knows what not to say and what to say he's six we i make sure he knows what words are but if you are a fan of the attitude era like i am wrestling is back 
The Rock came back and man, that's why we were up Friday. We were up Friday because the wrestling was on. I'm sorry. I started back watching wrestling. So he wrestling said, and we was watching The Rock and he said something ass. The I Rock was kicking ass. ass. Or something. He was saying some crazy <laughs> stuff. At one point, they just bleeped them out all together. Yeah, they can't say big words. Like, but sh- they showed the behind the scenes. I'll show it to you. Something about some ass or like kick ass or jack ass. Or something. It doesn't matter. And I looked at Blake. I said, you know, that's a word that you don't say, right? He said, well, yeah. I said, we don't talk like that. And he was like, but I know people that talk like that. Hey, school. It is. Cool. And I said, that's not what he said. What do you say? I said, who talks like that? To me? He said, daddy. And? I said, okay. And who else? He said, Uncle Philip. I knew it. I knew he a snitch. I'm ready to talk to him about that. I knew he was going to so, say me and Phil. Yeah. I knew he was going to say that. He's really Uncle Philip. I don't say that. <laughs> but when we get together, I might let a few of them fly, but Uncle Philip just let it fly regardless. He tries not to, but it's just... Anyway, we got some stuff to talk about, and I got to get down to it. We already hit the button. I was about to hit it again. This is a hard reset right, reset right now. <laughs> Um, somebody hit me up in the DM, shout out to the home girl and said, we are not going to let you get away with not talking about Drea and Joy. <laughs> I said, I'm hurt. So, so disconnected said, I'm from, hurt. uh, I'm so disconnected from pop culture right now. That's a choice. I don't care about any of it right now, but I do know that, you know, Drea is pregnant by somebody that's very young and then Joy situation. I briefly saw something where she was kind of like going off because people were talking about how she was somebody. (laughs) They were basically saying, they were criticizing her for being a baby mama of three. Okay. Three different baby daddies. Everybody rich, though. Ain't like she got no bad baby daddies. It don't matter. It don't matter. I don't want to hear that. That's stupid. What you mean? That's stupid. I don't care that they're rich. Whoa, 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 whoa. You ain't like she had the kids Right back to back. She's I not had the kids. I don't, I don't care, but I'm uh-uh. not gonna sit up I'm here and applaud you her because okay. she fucks rich, ba- rich niggas. I'm not finna. Nah, I'm not I'm applauding not, that either. But what I'm so saying what are we is, talking about this? because you got some of your homegirls out here messing around with dusty crusties out here and getting baby daddies and, and having them be their baby daddies. Come on, I man, don't, don't have right no homegirls. I don't have no homegirls that's doing that. What are you talking about? Well, don't generalize it. Some people I don't do. have. Homegirls Some people do. They but are whatever his... your choice is, whether you, it don't Everybody's... matter if he got money or not. Okay, okay. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you have it. But we, at what you, point it's, it's, do you choose to perk. have good values for yourself? Yes, yeah, good perk. It just All means right. that you don't struggle as much as the woman who yeah. has a baby daddy. And so, less so money. what I'm trying to say is, some women letting the man, and it's nothing wrong with this. Some women letting the garbage men lay up in them raw and they commit it. Hear it. And letting them skeet up in them and roll the you're, dice. You're missing the point I of am. values. I, I, I get it. I get it. What I'm are just... your values as a woman? I get it. I get it. That's what you're missing. So I don't wild. care about whether it's the, the, the garbage man or the CEO. I'm talking about your, your values as a woman. Would but I want to be a baby like... mama? No, nah, you know, three she probably not. She probably don't. Different ma- exactly. That's what I'm saying. Her comment. Okay. Was you know she she was making it seem like she didn't feel the way, but you guys obviously tell she did feel the way. Yeah, because it hit dog collar. She felt exactly. Like she, she, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Exactly. Yeah. Now, as far as the age differences, let's talk about the age difference. We ain't gonna talk about yeah none of the other <sighs> stuff. It's All right, hard. so Joy has a baby with Trayvon Diggs. Trayvon Diggs, bye. <laughs> Listen, once I saw them together. That's why I start going in the gym a little harder, but I can't run as fast as Trayvon Diggs. So you know what I'm saying? But anyway, Trayvon Diggs is 25. Joy is 35. Ten year age gap. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think that it only looks crazy because it's a woman. The, the, the woman is older than the guy. But if the guy can support himself, going back to that, it's not like she dating the dude that can't support himself and being 25. Then yeah, and if different. the and if the guy was 35 and the girl was 25. Nobody would bat an eye at that. Yeah, age. I don't think anybody would be saying anything. Right. What's the age difference of Beyonce and Jay Z? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's like 20 something, I think, or maybe 18, something like that. It's a lot. And then on the flip side, we would talk about this one later. Let's, let's figure out Jay Z 
and Beyonce. Babe. Twelve years. Oh, that's not bad. No. So they're twelve years apart. But 12, two in there. Had she been the older person and he been the younger person, they yeah. would have gotten a lot more backlash. They didn't get any backlash at all because it's just he's an older guy dating a yeah. younger woman. They're both adults. There's like nothing in regards to that. I definitely think there's a double standard when mm. it comes to all of this. Mm. And I think even with um, Trayvon, even even going back to Trayvon Diggs though, and Joy, I think the biggest backlash came from what we got in what we started it off with. Like it got in the, the the backlash came from like oh you got three different baby daddies yeah that's where her backlash came from yeah versus Drea it feels <laughs> Drea's backlash it's a little bit I agree that more it, extreme I agree that it seems predatory because maturity wise no matter how much money he has I can't see any amount like I I can't see mentally what they would have in common for her to be laying up with him other than he is a nice looking young man a 22 year old like think about what you were thinking about when you were 22 and you're talking about a woman that's almost 40 he he got what he was thinking about when he was 22 i right. was thinking about well, it's the same thing when i was 22 big Jalen, give it up for Jalen. so i can't even hate on you player i that's what i think 22, you trying to hear Granted, everything. It's her coochie, but Talk I about think it. that it's weird. I think it's weird. I don't think it's weird. I wouldn't weird. do it. Yeah, I, I don't just... think it's right. If Blake walked in here at the age of 22 with a woman that was 39 years old, I would have to tell her to take her ass on somewhere, go take her back to wherever the fuck you found her, because no. He probably would say, you know, at the time, but he's 22 years old. He's 22. He's a grown man, he can make his, his own, own decisions, money, making his own decisions. But that right. is not something that I could be accepting. Right. Of. I understand. I understand. Couldn't. Because what do you want with my, like, what do you want with him? Really and truly, what do you want with him? I mean, she might have be having a good time. We don't know how much she fun probably they is having. I mean, it could be. Solely based off of them having a good time, and it's probably but we're not going to sit here and act like we're expecting them to stay in a relationship and get married. I'd be very surprised at that. Well, it might surprise you. They might jump out of surprise. I ain't gonna wish them bad. They really might jump no, out so of then surprise. Then we'll circle you. back. If that I mean, happens. listen, I'm I'm not available because I'm married. But if Dre still wanted the sandwich to come on, we can we can never mind. <laughs> um, I'm hurt. I don't even know where to go from here. When I saw it and the news broke around the same time. I was devastated. Bear, shut up. Probably my creative block came from. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Now, um, for men, though, I think the age difference, once again, if it was flipped, and a 22, uh, sorry, 39-year-old man was dating a 22-year-old woman, then, oh, my God, I think that would be looked at as crazy. Now, the 35, 25, wouldn't bad at all. 22-year-old a uh, uh, 39-year-old man dating a 22-year-old woman, in today's world, people are going to look at that and have all type of nasty stuff to say about the dude. You say a predatory. Oh, yeah, he's going to be called predatory, statutory, auditories. He might be called Tory Lanez at yeah. that point. They're going to try but to put I him behind bars. That, I think that it would be looked over quick, more quickly than what it is with Dre. Every time she posts a picture of her belly, I get, Dre, people get to shaking their head because it's like, I can't believe you I can't believe you did that. It's just, and because her son is the same age as Cuz. That's another, that's another reason, too. Like, she has a son. I, I know people were saying age. that they were the same age. I didn't know if they were the exact same I age. Didn't or if the exact they, same. they were close in age, but regardless, it's strange. They're close like in if age. You're, I think the son may be like actually like anywhere between 19 and 21. <laughs> it's the age of Dre's son. They're the same and age. So then. this guy is 22. And so again, I would never want to date somebody that's the same age or even close. Like, if you could be friends with my son, we have nothing to talk about. This yeah. age difference yeah. right here is as if 17 years from now, one of Blake, some somebody my age decided to date one of Blake's friends. That's why. Uh, you, you, that's disgusting. I mean, you get a divorce and then one of Blake's homies try to scoop you up. <laughs> that's nuts. That is crazy. Like, what are we talking about here? That is so... crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I agree with the not being able to talk about things. I agree with that. Like, we 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 just can't relate to the same stuff. We we, we no. We, we just can't do it. We can't do it. Even with 
Barrett and I's age difference. When we first started dating, he was 20. No, because you were 20. I'm 26. He was like 23 when we met. 26. I was 19. Yep. And even when we started dating, we were having some some issues. Like if we wanted to go out, there were certain places that we couldn't go because I, I wasn't twenty one yet. I couldn't take her. Little had a snigger in the back though. <laughs> so because there's a four and a half age difference here, so that age difference is crazy. Yeah. And you know, obviously, like maturity wise, so a lot of times girls are more mature for sure than men are. Um, so like maturity was never an issue between us when we first started dating. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, oh. it was you there was, the there ones was, that showed the immaturity. There was a roundabout so. way <laughs> of her trying to call me immature on the low. Like and I really so, on the high. He's like, that wasn't even the issue with us. Uh, he was like, uh, it's the hit dog hollering. Nah, I'm just letting you know what it sounded like. So you can call something out without hollering now. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just <laughs> I just wish that she would make better choices for herself. That's all. She had, I'm 30. I'm, we were the same age. She had the opportunity. I, I was ready. I can't hoop. Like, let's go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room. Ever since my boy Jalen announced that, baby, 40 points a game. Now, he free averaging about 35 points a game ever since the announcement. So, whatever Drea has, what, can I say it? What I get in trouble? Shut up, Barry. Nobody whatever, wants to hear it. You whatever it yourself. is, I believe it. And my boy been hooping. So give it up for Jalen Green. That's all I wanted to say. I'll let y'all read between. I'm about to get you in You don't trouble. need to be giving it up for anybody. He's I'm still a out. child. I'm getting out of here because I'm, like I'm about to get in trouble. I'm about to get in trouble. He is like a child. But yeah, if y'all wonder how I feel, I don't feel good about any of it. But I love my wife. But I still did. Don't make Barry. I'm just keeping it real. We need some space. Let's talk about that. We need some space, right? All right. Who we needs some talk, space? We got to talk what about What are you it. even talking about right now? It's on the board. We need some space. What is in regards to what? It's quick story time. One of my, one of our close friends, and I'm not, I'm not going to disclose too much, but she's been talking to a fine gentleman who we all um, thought because they were doing so, so well. And then all of a sudden, my guy kind of went ghost a little bit. Not his first time, but he went ghost for the second time. She brought it up and said, we need to communicate. And he said, you're right. I need some space. Now, I'm going to ask you, what the space mean to you? What does that mean? What is I need some space all of a sudden when Everything up until this point has been beautiful. We've been going on dates. I've been helping you work through issues. I've been setting you up appointments. And now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, literally out of left field, you tell me you need some space. I need some space to me means I'm one foot out the door. You think so? Yeah, that's what it's meant when I always said it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so you gaslighting somebody. I come to you tell you I need like, some space. You need to be worried. Really? Yes. But you but say, oh, whoa, If whoa, I whoa. come to you, Bear Newsom say, I need some space, you need to be concerned. Is I need some space and my cup is depleted synonyms. <laughs> Are they synonyms? <laughs> so now we got to go back and revisit something because I can... <laughs> We can look at those things as being synonyms. And you did tell That's me not that what I today. Said. You told me... I need some time to myself. My cup is depleted. That's what I said. No, it's not. No, it's not. Keep going. Keep going. My bad. Because I need some space. It's very vague. Explain. That's what I'm saying. Explain. It's very vague. I told a guy from a woman's standpoint in high school that I needed some space. And truly, he was getting on my nerves. He was getting on my nerves. And then when I said I needed this space, I stopped reaching out for a couple of days. I, <laughs> I stopped reaching out for a couple of days. Then a homegirl of mine had a birthday dinner. And I guess he had called me within those couple of days and I had not answered the phone because I told you I need some space. Leave me alone now. And we went to this birthday dinner. He was invited. He showed up to the birthday dinner and walked in and tried to embarrass me. <sighs> That's great. And he said, we need to talk. 
Let me see you outside. Hey, you got to know my personality to know that you get me messed up. That's why you, that's why you with me because you met your match because I would never do anything like that. You need some space with shit. Bet. <laughs> Dre so, on the main line. I walked outside and he said whatever he had to say and I said, you know what? Let's just end this year. Good riddance. We broke up. That was the end of it. All right, but um, let's get back to so 2024. I assume when you're saying that you need some space, there are some feelings in you that are telling you that, you know, you don't necessarily want to do this anymore, but you're not 100% sure of whether or not you want or don't want to be with this person. I got a question, something you said and something that's happened to the person I'm talking about. If you tell me you need some space, right? And you don't tell me what that looks like or how long it's going to be. Do I have the right to continue yes. to contact you to see? No. Like, can you at least tell me, hey, I need some space. Give me a few days and I'll, and I'll reach back out when I'm ready to talk. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't that be a conversation had? Yes. You can't tell me you need space. And then like you just said you did. Let's go ghost. Well, then, first of all, you can't compare this situation. That's what that, I said. Yeah, I was childish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like yeah, 18. Facts, facts, facts. I was childish. So I don't recommend that approach anyway. But I, like I say, I do know that in times that I've said I need space, I was about ready to dip anyway. Facts. Um, if you say at this big age, I need some space, you need to tell me what that looks like. Yeah. Are you saying that you are tired of this relationship? Are you like, are you stressed out about something? Do you just need to clear your head? Does this even have anything to do with me? Hold on. Let me stop right there. The main reason I feel like if men are being honest with themselves when we tell a woman that we need space is because we got to figure some shit out. I feel like our space, if we're being honest, comes from a place of stress or from a place of not having things figured out. What I mean by that is I can imagine dating in my space right now without you and the kids. And I have this house. Right. And I'm going through an insurance issue downstairs trying to figure that out and i'm talking to a girl she's being more of a burden than the insurance issue i need some space because i got a lot going on at work i'm trying to figure out how to get my house repaired i'm trying to figure out different things in my area i can't deal with us right now and give you the attention you need because i got way too much going on internal now so then would you say that because why yeah, yeah. would you now just say that instead of I need space? Now I would say that. Back okay. in the day, back in the day when I was young, I'm like, hey, baby, listen, you gotta chill. I need some space. I get back to you when I can. Or I would tell her either I need some space or you can come over and help out. But if I feel like you're not helping out, you're just trying to be up under me. Why would she I'm be helping out if she's your out. girlfriend? Helping out with what? Getting, As a girlfriend, helping out with what in your house? Getting repairs done. Like trying to help me. Put the pieces together. This is a loose example I'm giving now. <laughs> okay. Loose example. Don't get stuck because I know you. Don't get stuck on the example. But if you want to try to come in and help me work through some of the things that I'm working through, try to help me regain it, I want that. I don't necessarily want space because now I'm looking for somebody to be around. Also, I'm an extrovert. So I like being around people. Moreover, I like being around girls. Like I would probably have more fun with a girl, like with, with, with my girlfriend being around me. I don't want to just be sitting in my house lonely in my thoughts. So I'm not telling you I need space because if I'm telling you once again, I need space, Drea is now available and I'm trying to shoot my shot straight up. I'm keeping it real about me. She's like, you keep it real? I'm keeping it real. Why you got to look at me like this? And I'm going to be honest with you. If I tell you I need space, I'm going to give you a time limit. I am going to say, hey, I need space. But you've always been a out. relationship person. Yeah. Like, you don't need space. But you're right. You, you're not a... I just I said I like be, being... I like you're, company. You're not a I want to be single. Like You, you have always been company. in a relationship. I need somebody to take my mind off being in my prime, some company. But sometimes that's your problem. You need to be in your mind, sorting some shit out. I'm good. So, sorry, uh, uh, um, Another shot. But, ah, shit. But this ain't Texas. I'm I will, ready for the album. I will say that a person suggesting that they need space does give space 
for other people to slide in. Not the or I said for that. the person in the relationship to slide out. We said that. So if you tell me I need space, I'm going to ask you, what does that mean? Do you mean, like, are we considered still together? Are mm, we still boyfriend and girlfriend during question. this space? Or are you saying that this is over during this space? It's a good question. How should I be moving while I give you space? Can I put myself back out on the market while we take this space? Mm. What? Because you, you're not going to, one, you're not going to leave me on. Two, you're not going to just leave me in limbo, wondering and figuring, trying to figure out what's going on. I need clear communication on what this space means. We have to really sit down and map this thing out if we or if you plan on continuing to talk to me during the time or are you gonna jump in jump out remember that old school game jump, jump in, in jump, jump out. out yeah introduce yourself yeah we're not name doing is- that because uh-uh. you're not gonna keep reintroducing yourself to me after you got some space buddy. either you're gonna jump in and stay in or be all the way out and be out like i said second time second time doing this so I oh, know. If it's your second time doing it, this shit out. it's okay. You ain't got to worry about it. Don't come back over here. Yeah. I'm giving you your space forever. We're done. Then. Yeah, like, we, we just we just had to be sure. Now, What's the, what was the time lapse between the first and the second space? Oh, I don't know. Probably a few months, right? Had to be. I'm they out. were good. They were good. I jumped in, jumped out. So I'm, I'm saying you got to go. You got to go. If you were to come to me. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. <laughs> go ahead and free For yourself. yourself. Y'all know how I feel about Fantasia. That's another one. Big t- change of my girl. Now, listen, though. If you, as my girlfriend, we're dating, and you did come to me and tell me you need space, as a man, <laughs> I'm going to take that as we don't go together no more. <laughs> I am going to take that as a signal. I think uh, men take things a little bit more literal than women when it comes to I just think that most people don't have the communication skills to come back from that. Talk about it. Like, I don't... Most people don't have the skills, like, in their tool belt to to come out of, like, I need space. Talk to to clearly communicate what the real issue is. And that's why a lot of times I need space just doesn't work. Once again... Looking at this from a male standpoint, I feel like that we can have too much pride sometimes to tell a young lady, I need space because I'm dealing with financial issues. I need space because I don't know where I'm I'm in, I'm in between jobs and the job I have right now is not the job that I want. I'm I need space because I'm dealing with my baby mama and my kid and I don't know how to manage this situation so I don't want to bring you into that and now you have to be a part of all that I don't think we can we don't know how to say that because we don't know how you guys will take it either and we just kind of assume the worst automatically because we've heard horror stories about this certain thing in the past so now we have to protect ourselves just as well as you are to protect yourself but Going back to what you said, we are way too old now not to keep it real. Mm-hmm. And I know this person personally, and she's the type of person that if you kept it real with her, she would respect it more. She would. Than you trying to beat around the bush. She's way more lenient than I would yes. ever be. If I came to her and be like, I need some space, she'd be like, she would do the same thing. I'd say, all right, bet I'm out. I'm outside. You would. If I came to you, we were dating, and I said, Indy, listen, I need space, man. You know, like these... We've been, we've been, and I'm literally not gonna pick up the phone. You're not. I'm so stubborn, Lord Jesus. I'm literally not gonna pick up the phone. See what I'm called. saying? So okay. You're stubborn, and I might have too much pride, and those things do not coincide. Stubbornness and pride don't coincide. No. Mm-mm. And then we, the space gonna turn into a breakup. I'm be I wouldn't outside. recommend my way of doing things. No, I wouldn't. I'm either. still working on it. I wouldn't either. I'm working deep within myself. But it is definitely a communication issue. It's yeah. for sure a communication issue. That's what it boils I, down to. Yeah, like the space, we just have to be transparent about the space. I need space because this. And I think if you gave me a week just to clear my head, we'll end up being back together again like nothing's happened. At that week, no, after no, no, that no. week. We don't need to be acting like nothing happened. We didn't discuss this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, after that week, after we discuss things and I tell you exactly how I managed to cope with this, um, if you 
I'm giving you the option. If you still want to continue to do this, then we're going to rock and we're going to keep doing it. And I shouldn't need space again. But if I ever need space again, that's your ticket out of here. Get out. Get away from me. That's it. Give it up for me one time. You ready? I know, but I know you. we're not doing it because I got one more thing to talk about. You ready? You got your words first. Mm-mm. I ain't point even talking about it. What? Look at the timestamp. Yeah, we got a baby that just woke up. Right. Tell the people they can find <laughs> man. See, we got it. We got it. I got my, I'm excited to pop. I mean, you, the, no, do, go you ahead. don't have to do mine. Go, go ahead, ahead and go into the last thing. If you want to go into the now last thing. Now unqualified advice from B-Love and B-Love. <laughs> she hated it. Relationship. I got the keys, the keys, the keys. I won't take too much time. But I don't know if y'all been seeing my videos on Instagram. I haven't talked about it here, but I now have tennis elbow from lifting weights. It comes from my wrist. I have a weak wrist. Reek what? I have a weak wrist. Um, I found out the problem through a sports medicine doctor. My relationship is this. I have to wear a brace at night. I'm thinking to myself, how do you initiate sex? When you got a Velcro vest on your arm to keep your wrist stable. Imagine me trying to have sex like this, like a rodeo. You know what I mean? That might be what I'm going to have to do because I have to keep my wrist stable. When I have sex and I'm on top of my woman, I tend to mount myself and I get busy with one of these. You see what I'm saying? My wrist is now bent. I can't really do that anymore. I have to keep my wrist straight as possible during the day. Now, at night, I wear the brace. So I'm thinking to myself, how do you do that? Then I was Googling and I saw somebody say they sleep with a mouth guard. And they say they have a hard problem, hard time initiating sex after they put their mouth guard in. My dad uh, wears yeah. a mouth guard. I'm like, bro, start initiating sex before you put that damn mouth guard in. So I'm say you stood before little, you put your mouth guard in. Yeah, that, that was an easy answer when I saw that. Like, bro, yo, you dumb. Mine is different, though. I really got to think now because this could hurt me a little bit. I'm good today because I took my, my medicine. But my relationship is this. Start thinking about these things before you are in the heat of the moment. I know. Ain't nobody don't. thinking about if they elbow mess up and their wrist, wrist is weak and they can't support themselves. In the heat of the I moment. That's what I'm saying. So I'm thinking about it now. I'm, I'm saying it out loud. I'm thinking. I'm telling you. <laughs> Before we get to the heat of the moment, I might not be able to blast pushing myself up this long as I used to. So prepare to ride the Be Love Express. Choo choo. Tell the people where they can find you. Oh my God. Talk about it. You know I will. Let's go. Um, work at Pilates. It's the only place you can. Oh, so- oh my God. Somebody actually messaged me today. From the pod? This morning. No, Mrs. Me, oh. my Pilates space this morning was like, hey, I just wonder what happened to your personal uh to your personal page. I've been following you for so long and uh I had saved some posts from you. I don't see why people do that, but that's none of my business. So yeah, you don't gotta read you it's just like we need space, right? How I need much space? space. So how much space do you need? No, my plan was to deactivate it for the entire first quarter of the year. First quarter over with. The you know first that. quarter is over. So today would technically be the day that I would reactivate it, but I don't want to. And you can reactivate that page and just not go to it. Be love 1911 on all social platforms. You got another page like that. It's active and you don't get on it. Let's not talk about it. It's not this, this I don't want to be on social chill. media, y'all. Sorry. This is but enough you, but, but you for on, me. But you on Facebook. Be love 1911. I like the old people. Be love 1911 <laughs> on all social media where people can find uh, <laughs> some, some, some tape and just put it on stuff. And say, well, anyway. She not podcast. It's on the gram. I'm there. She be checking my messages I send to myself on She and Not Podcast. Yeah, you do. I, I, well, I mean, yeah, I'm yeah, on yeah, the okay. account. To get off the account then. You don't want to be on, be on social media. That's fine. Get off. That's uh, fine. <laughs> YouTube, no the vibes are there. In the meantime, in between time, it's been real. It's been fun. She, I, 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 I.